What drove you to want to do the story of Blue Metal? What, no. what made, what, what's driving that story in you? Oh, it's entirely emotional. It, metal is deeply about the moment when you wake up and you feel like every road open to you, everything you thought you were doing that was meant to lead you somewhere good, suddenly says, oh no, every road from here forward is black, is dark. Oh, cool. And it's your fault. And you've taken everyone on this journey oh, with right. you that's going only downhill, and that's it. And finding a way to say no, you have to push through that and find wonder and hope and all the things that you know are there on the other side of it. It's, it's, written, it's written in many ways for my kids. You know, it's written about this moment in particular in time, but it's also written about those experiences I've had because you know, certainly I've had moments in my life where I felt like very worthless. And the villain of that story is that voice that says, oh, I know you thought you were this great hero, Batman, in the Justice League, but everything you've done in your whole career not just your career, but your life, and the lives that led to your life, have all been a plan to just show you how worthless you are. And you're just a lever I'm pulling to end everything. And everything you thought was an accomplishment, I let be that. And to me, that's the voice, that fraudulent worry you have as a creative person, or as a person in life sometimes, where you feel like, I don't deserve what I have, um, I'm not the person I present to people, I'm failed and flawed, I'm not, I'm not, the person I want to be for myself and my kids. And there's always that voice who can be the Joker, who can be Barbatos in this story saying, oh, you are exactly that person that you don't want to be. All those things you're afraid of are true about you, and I'm going to prove it to you. And I'm going to watch you go down and laugh at you while that happens. And so the story is very much about saying, no, I am the rock star I know I can be. You know, and making you guys feel that way. And it's about, for me, how fun and bonkers comics, that Kirby-esque, crazy, awesome, space opera nuttiness isn't just escapism. It's about being brave and reaching beyond the things that seem finite and, and closing you in and dark and known science and saying there's wonder and awesomeness in you and beyond the limits of what you think is known. And so for me, that's metal. It's, it's, it's called metal for fun. I want you guys, and it's about nth metal, so I want it to be something that you guys feel like you're invited to the best rock party ever this summer. But it's also, you see, like, you know, Dan and I tell you, and issue two is like, I don't want to spoil stuff, but it's meant to evoke that sense of daring and fun that I, I, I find in my, the people I love the most reading, including you, Tom, where you read it, you see, I can't believe they did that. That's so daring and different. And we want it to feel fun that way, where you turn the page and it's just like, I can't believe they did that. That's taking me somewhere I didn't know I could go and expanding my sense of where this story could take me emotionally in a good way as well. So as dark as what I just pitched is you, it's, it's meant to feel like this crazy bonkers tour of fun. It gets dark because that's, you know, it's a personal story, but that's what it's about. So it's driving me, it's, this is the story I've been building to be able to write for many years. It's the culmination of everything I've done at DC and before that and in prose because I'll tell you, sorry to go on and on about it, but essentially it took me a while to learn that it's okay to embrace the zaniness and the fun of comics because I was so intent with Batman on the darkness and the, and you can see it as we got for closer to the end, it getting crazier and crazier and then All-Star. And I learned that you can tell stories that are out of control fun, but that also are deeply personal in that way. And when I go back and read my favorite stuff now, from a lot of it being Kirby stuff this year, looking back at a lot, you realize the stories that you thought were just giant, silly, fun stories are not. They're deeply, deeply emotional. And the stuff that made you want to do it in the first place. And so that's what metal is about for me in a big way. Cool. I'm going to go to you for this. Woo!